the Supreme Court is preparing to decide whether the Second Amendment gives Americans a right to carry a loaded gun when they leave home, and some justices are looking back to the England of 1328 for an answer. At issue is the meaning of the right to keep and bear arms that was added to the Constitution in 1791 and expanded by the High Court in 2008. In a dispute to be argued Wednesday, a newly strengthened conservative Supreme Court majority will have an opportunity to go even further in broadening the rights of gun owners. Until then, the Second Amendment had been interpreted by the court as applying to the state's right to establish a well-regulated militia, rather than to an individual's right to own guns. But Scalia, who died in 2016, successfully argued for interpreting the Constitution based on what he viewed as the original understanding of its terms. He said the Second Amendment codifies a pre-existing right that was brought from England to the American colonies. By the time of the founding of this country, he wrote in District of Columbia v. Heller, the right to have arms had become fundamental for English subjects. That 5-4 to four decision struck down an unusually strict gun control ordinance in Washington D.C., and held that law-abiding residents had a right to keep a handgun at home for self-defense. Now the court faces a far more consequential decision in a New York case to be heard this week, do Americans have a right to be armed when they travel in a car, walk down the street or march in protest rally? It is a test of gun rights as well as originalism.